Greetings. This is a uh, demonstration of Edubuntu and the CVS current versioning system. My name is Dennis Daniels. Welcome. We're going to set up CVS on my Edubuntu machine. Uh, we're going to walk through it together. First, we need to see if I have it installed already. We're going to use the Synaptic Package Manager to do that. If it's not installed, <coughs> we're going to install it. If it is installed, we're going to get Moodle CVS. Uh, maybe not in this tutorial, though. So, uh, plea to Moodle people. Well, let's not do that just yet. Let's go see if we can get it. So, I've already started VNC. You can see Apache is already running from a previous tutorial that I started. <coughs> so, let's do. Um, let's go to System Package Manager, Administration. Package Manager. For you uh, Linux purists, you're probably wondering why I'm doing everything through Synaptic as opposed to the command line. I agree, command line is much more powerful, uh, but I'm also targeting uh, targeting people who may not have a whole lot of experience with computers at all, namely teachers and they need GUIs so that's why I'm using the GUI to show them that they can do it without your help, the experts. So let's do a search. I'm going to do a search for CVS. So again we're in the Synaptic Package Manager and let's search for CVS and let's see if we can drag that down a little bit. Dragging down, that doesn't work. Okay, so let me scroll down. CSC, oh, CVS right there. That's the one I want. Mark for installation. Current version is a version control system which allows you to keep old versions of files, usually source code, keep a log of who, when, why. Does not operate on one file at a time at one directory, so you have to manage releases and to control concurrent editing of source files, etc. So it's marked for installation. Let's see. CVS to HTML, what is that? Currently trying to see a lot of output into HTML that probably used by any type of CVS since it's okay. And there is another CVS application. Uh, CVS report, what is that? Activity from local CVS. Uh, I don't need any of that, I don't think. G edits installed. Um, and there's another one called Subversion. Subversion is another CVS application, which is supposed to be much better than CVS because CVS is old as dirt. And uh, basically, a bunch of smarter people got together and said, <coughs> Subversion is the way to go. I'm going to go ahead and install that because I've heard too many good things about it. Uh, Mark, and there's also helper scripts. I don't know what those do. Subversion checkout out by repository, SVN, export, export project, repair files in repository, import project, load a dumped repository. Okay, I like that. Mark for installation. Okay, so I'm going to get CVS. I'm going to get some version as well. Apply to be installed. Let's see what it's going to install. Apache 2 again, because it didn't fully install last time. Python 2.4, Subversion RCS, and Subversion Tools. Okay, have four megs have to be installed. Click apply. So, <clears throat> let's go back while it's doing that. Uh, I'm going to install it. So, uh, checking for CVS uh, via Synaptic Manager, Package Manager, and Subversion as well. A better CVS. Okay, so that should do it for this tutorial. Uh, we're going to get the Moodle CVS next time. Uh, plea to the Moodle people, 
if you know how to use CVS or Subversion, please help out by uh, producing screencasts of your own and publishing them. Screencasting in Linux is not easy. Um, well, it's not as easy as it should be. I'm demo studioing on my XP box while VNCing under my Linux. I'm looking for a good screencasting tool for GNOME or KDE. Yes, yeah, Istanbul is good, but it's for AUG, and AUG isn't supported by video.google. Thank you for your time. My name is Dennis Daniels, and send me an email if this helped you or someone you know. Thanks, and happy computing.